Glider refinishing is always a bit of a contentious subject because it's going to cost many, many thousands of pounds to do it properly. Because if you're refinishing the glider because it's cracked, every single piece of gel coat and filler and everything else associated with those cracks has to come off. Um, cracks are never just in the surface. They always go full depth and if you don't take it all off, they always come back. Because um, it is so expensive, it tends to get put off and put off and put off. And quite a few cases get put off too long until the glider actually has quite substantial amounts of damage to it. Um, in the following photos and um, video from Richard Killamson, you'll see some of the damage caused by leaving it too long to fix all the cracks and problems they cause. Um, it's usually a false economy to leave it that long because it makes the refinishing job much tougher. As you see, it involves having to re-glass the wing and then cook the wing 54 degrees for 15 hours, which is quite an undertaking. It increases the cost quite substantially. So please, refinish them before the cracks get too bad. Okay. Cracks are on the lower surface of the wings. They went through the gel coat and they're actually here all the way along. Bad area here. main area to be addressed is on the, this is the lower surface of the starboard wing and the cracking goes from the root out to the aileron inboard rib. So here we have a case into one wing, I think, being refinished, um, and it's having to have the top layer of two glass fiber replaced, which really adds a lot of money to the refinish, a lot of extra labor. You could completely destroy the profile of the glider and have to start again. So please refinish it earlier rather than later.